good morning to all today we are discussing the continuation topic of the different theories regarding the nature of the light yesterday we discussed that uh, one of the theory which is given by the sir isaac newton today we will discuss another one the topic is huygens wave theory of light the huygens wave theory of light is the theory is given by the the scientist that scientist the scientist name is christian huygens in 1670 so he is proposed this theory according to this uh, in this theory we are discussing most important points which can be useful in our topic according to huygens wave theory he proposed that the light is transfer from one place to another place in the form of wave so the wave may be longitudinal wave and the transfer waves he proposed that the waves which is transferring in the light light waves is that they, they are, those are the transfer waves he proposed that that huygens proposed that see to propagation of these waves he assumed that a universal medium is existed a given the name of that medium as ether so according to huygens in a to transfer the light waves that is the transfer waves it must be a medium is required so that medium he assumed that one of the medium is that entire universe is having the one type of medium that medium is name he is he is given that name of ether 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 name is given so according to this theory is a very very important point he per given that every point in the wave front act as a secondary source secondary source of wave which produces secondary wavelets those are the small wave matters to all directions these wavelets can move with the same speed of original wave this is the very very important point in the huygens wave theory according to this in the wave in the light wave if we take any one of the point that point will acts as a secondary wave as a secondary wave it will produce the secondary wave the production of the wave can be done in all directions they will produce the secondary light they these waves can be tra- can be traveled in all directions with the same speed of previous original wave see the wavelets the wavelets is nothing but which are the the points which are having the same phase the same phase point it is the, the wavelets is the the wavelets is nothing but some wave matter which are having the same phase same phase if we overlap the same phase points it will form a surface it will form a surface that surface is named as the wave front in the wave see if it is this diagram if you consider this is the source of the light this is the source of the light <coughs> the wave is generating from this source in all direction according to point 4 every point of the wave front will acts as the secondary source so this point is acting as a secondary source the wave is producing in all direction so so if the wave is producing all direction if you take this one so the same phase points i am drawing two or three points the points which are having the same phase same phase point if we draw a surface if we take this as a sphere it will get the halo sphere surface so this surface is named as the wave front this surface is named as the wave front if you move continue this one see these waves are producing in all direction all direction so the wave is pro- the the generated wave is producing in all directions so 
the generated wave is producing in all directions so the wave can move in all directions so this is according to the fourth point of the Huygens theory but one of the major drawback in the this Huygens theory one of the great scientists Michelson Morley he done the experiment to get whether ether medium is available or not he proven that there is no such type of medium in the universe so the assumption of the Huygens in the ether medium is not available in the medium he, he, he proven that with his experiment of a uh, with his experiment so this is the major drawback in the objection of the Huygens theory see with help of the Huygens theory first one the light is transfer transferring in the wave form second one the wave in the wave the any point can be act as the secondary wave source the, the that point can be generate the waves in all directions so these <coughs> these secondary waves can be travel in all directions with the same constant speed of the previous wave so they can produce the wave front they can produce the wave front with help of this important point so he can able to he can equal to give the correct solution correct to uh, correct result he can able to give the uh, correct explanation about the properties of light he can able to success to give the up to four points those are reflection how the reflection is takes place in the light refraction will takes place in the light and diffraction will take place in the, and interference he can able to uh, give the explanation with help of the Huygens theory now see the remaining to five and six point polarization and photoelectric effect he's failed to explain how these two phenomena these two properties are takes place in the lights he is failed to explanation that's why we need to go further um, further uh, any light theories to give the all properties which can be tells all properties of the light so that's why we are looking far away looking for another theory to give the correct explanation of the properties of the light thank you for watching